welcome back to the fishes cluster of the nation. You're here with the cast of Sis. But we're more than beauty, talent, and amazing TikTok moves. We're here to make the world of brown, sorry, a better place. Welcome to our world. Our world. Our Lava. My name is Gabby Solomona. I play Mickey. Kia rana, uh, My name is Hilary Samuela and I play Gigi. Talofa Lava. My name is Suivai Otsungavaya and I play Malia of Sis, which is a spin off from Baby Mama's Club. You guys, this is it. I'm gonna do the nasty. <laughs> Um, I met Gabby at school, at Bipa, and I met Vai in 2015. She was our receptionist. <laughs> <laughs> so we all studied at Bipa, Pacific Institute of Performing Arts, RIP. Um, <laughs> yeah, here we are working together. We've worked together quite a lot. I think Bipa really prepped us, eh, for this series. Mm. Like, because mm. we're already so tight. Bipa helped, like, taught us that you're, go you're gonna go through adversities and obstacles, but you can't get rid of each other at the end of the day. You're all you've got. I, I play the role of Mickey. She's the ride or die cousin. Really hard financially, emotionally, astrologically. I think Mickey's more straightforward. She's more like, I don't care who you are, I'll beat you up. Gabby's like, Nice. <laughs> Gabby's an angel, she's really nice and nice. sweet. Nah. Fresh off the boat, realness. So scut. What is scucks? It's like slang from South Auckland. Stop trying to make scucks happen. A dress wise, no. Like, Hillary would not dress like that. I am very loving, like, Gigi's very loving. Um, and she just takes them <laughs> as they are. And no matter who you are, Gigi loves you. My name is got a bit more confidence than I do, and um, she's a bit more ruthless than I am. I said, what is this place? You don't want to know. You don't want to know what my foot tastes like. It's comedy, but um, under the tone of it is, we're very, we're quite political. We wanted to discuss things that were real to us, things mm. that we've been through, things that, yeah. not just <clears throat> us, us three, but um, Pacific Island women in general. We're, one of our skits is um, the supermarket scene. Sorry, ladies. Oh. I'm gonna have to check your bags. But our bags were at the checkup the whole time. We didn't take them in the shop. Sorry, store policy. Can I just? I know some of us have discussed, like, we won't even go to certain stores because we know we'll get judged straight away. Like, I would never, like, go to, like, Ponsonby Road or Newmarket in, like, just casual gears. I've learned, like, you have to look a certain way, otherwise they just judge you. I think my one would be a massive I don't know, voice to everybody, like the younger generation and stuff, is the clinic scene. Oh. Look, Grace, I really think that this is something you should talk about with your parents or an older adult that you can trust, eh? What? This is not the type of conversation you have with your parents. Really? Why not? Short Vision says, you're not meant to have sex before marriage. In our culture, we don't really um, talk about the birds and the bees. <laughs> Because of like, they go to church, they're Christian, or the VAR, you don't cross that sort of VAR. Our big hope with that particular skit is that it will start a conversation between parents and kids, you know? Like, there's such a, um, a distance between generations within our cultures, and we just really hope that it starts a, like, if anything, just starts a conversation. We don't just want young girls to watch this, we want the older, their parents to watch it as well. It's an education for everyone, for all of us. Yeah. yeah. I remember before we went into shooting, like, we were quite distant and we had to come, we had to remember our whys to bring us back together. So, should we just go, like, what yeah. was your whys? I remember voice, the yeah. word voice yeah. was for the generation below us to have a voice. Um, my why was um, for our plus size community. Um, especially for our plus size brown girls who are not confident enough to step into this sort of world or this sort of platform. Embrace um, shapes, sizes, tones. Um, yeah, that's, that was my why. That's big, because I remember growing up, like, and all you saw was, like, skinny Balangi girls. And I remember, like, thinking, oh, that's what I need to look like in order to be beautiful. And so I hope that young brown girls can not like can just see themselves in us. Ripping in the sky. Ripping forever, any downfall I face, my face still like a